In other local headlines tonight, more Minnesota communities are growing concerned about so-called forever chemicals known as PFAS. Yesterday, we told you PFAS in the groundwater is expected to move to parts of the East Metro that aren't yet dealing with it in the decades to come. That has many families wondering what they can do now to protect themselves. Our Richard Reeve asked experts about the options out there. PFAS, odorless and colorless, in our drinking water supply. This is going to be around for a long time, so we're going to have to understand it, uh, live with it, treat it. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency says those chemicals are now in 22 water systems in 17 cities. The agency sharing this map showing where a PFAS plume is heading in the East Metro in coming decades. Is this the new normal? Yes. The more we look for it, the more we're going to find it. Um, and the more we're going to have to deal with it. In Woodbury, the city is spending millions to filter out PFAS from city wells. But Public Works Director Mary Van Milligan warns untreated water may have to be used during high-use summer months. We will have to operationally bring in wells uh, with PFAS on occasion um, to meet the water demand when water is really, really high. So we wondered how to filter out PFAS from the water coming into your home. The Minnesota Department of Health has several suggestions, including something called reverse osmosis. The reverse osmosis treatment system is exactly that. It's a filter. Paul Wetzka with the Minnesota Well Owners Association says these point of use filters or membranes are typically installed under your kitchen sink. On one side of that membrane is all of the dissolved and particulates in water. And on the other side of that membrane is almost pure water. Experts say the best filter is granulated active charcoal, or GAC, which absorbs any organic molecule, including PFAS. It can be used under a sink or a faucet or in a larger point of entry system like this, about the size of a water softener. So this would go on your water system before it goes to any of your faucets for your sink, shower, or anything like that. So it's treated as it comes in the house, not as it's being used. So a lot for consumers to think about. Retailers tell us they're seeing an uptick in sales of these devices. They can cost anywhere from about $150 to thousands of dollars. You can find out a lot more information on our mobile app. Just click on the Featured on 5 tab, Callan. Okay, thank you, Rich.